Welcome to this episode on metacognition and teaching, how thinking about thinking improves learning. Have you ever had a student say, I studied for hours, but I still failed the test? Or maybe you've noticed students reading through their notes, assuming they understand, but struggling when they need to apply the knowledge. The problem isn't effort, it's how they think about learning. And that's where metacognition comes in. Metacognition simply means thinking about thinking. It's how we plan, monitor, and evaluate our own learning. In other words, it's the difference between just memorizing and truly understanding. Research shows that students who use metacognitive strategies learn faster, retain more, and perform better on assessments. The best part? Metacognition can be taught. To help students take control of their learning, they need to develop three key metacognitive skills, planning, monitoring, and evaluating. One, planning. Before starting a task, students ask, what's my goal? What strategy should I use? What challenges might I face? Two, monitoring. During the task, they ask, am I understanding this? Should I slow down or try a different method? Three, evaluating. After the task, they reflect, what worked, what didn't, how can I improve next time? So, why does this matter in the classroom? Metacognition helps students become independent learners. Instead of waiting for a teacher to point out mistakes, they learn to self-correct, problem solve, and refine their approach. The good news, you can integrate metacognition into any lesson. Here's how. One. Model metacognitive thinking. Think aloud while solving a problem. I'm stuck here. Let me try breaking it into smaller steps. Two, use guided reflection questions. What was easy? What was difficult? What will you do differently next time? Encourage self-assessment. Before turning in work, have students ask, did I answer the question fully? Could I explain this to someone else? Metacognition isn't just another teaching strategy, it's a game changer. It turns passive learners into active thinkers. So next time you teach, don't just focus on what students learn, help them think about how they learn. Which metacognitive strategy do you use in your classroom? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the science of learning and the art of teaching.